Hey everyone, welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Tammy and I am the owner of two cute German short hairs that like to be on camera. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about the dog bits that we have here. We have tried lots of different ones, so I wanted to show you the ones that we currently have um, and why we have them and what we like about them. So, come along. The first dog bed we had was from Cabela's and it cost me quite a bit. Um, it lasted about three years, but then we had our second puppy and that one decided to destroy it. So after that, knowing that he was a bed destroyer, that one right there, I decided I was gonna try to find less expensive options. So some of these are more expensive, some of them are less, but we have lots of different ones um, that I'm gonna show you. So Okay, so one of the beds that we keep in our living room is just this flat pillow bed. Um, a lot of times our GSPs like to sprawl out, and so this allows them to kind of lay and overflow the edges and um, just kind of sprawl out on top of this really flat bed. Now this one was a really cheap one. I think we got it at Menards, maybe 20 bucks if even. Um, it's fairly flat. So there's not a lot of cushion left to it, um, but they both fit on it. And he wants to be on camera. But they both fit on it, and so sometimes they can lay together. Most of the time ours don't. They don't cuddle a whole lot, but that allows them to have a nice surface that they can really just sprawl out. What are you doing, buddy? Hmm? What do you think? This is Benny. Benny is our older one. You can tell him because he has a white stripe down his nose. So he's, we've had him since about 2014. He's typically not a bed destroyer. However, <laughs> he's such a good boy. However, last Christmas we got them this one. It's supposed to be similar to the Cozy Cave. Um, and so I got it thinking that my younger one would like to get inside of it because he likes to go underneath covers But really you can see all that that they've really done is just try to tear the top of it off They've never actually gotten into it um, But they do lay on it like they do that other one and they sprawl out. Yep. There he goes So it's really just become a toy So they don't use it the way I thought that he would <laughs> But he's still cute anyways, aren't you buddy? So the third one that we have is one that looks like this and we keep this one in our bedroom. So this one has sides. Um, oftentimes GSPs like to curl up and mine like to have something that kind of holds them and so these sides will hold them in and allow them to curl up inside the bed. Um, and so they tend to like this one a little bit more at night when it keeps them a little bit cozier. Although there he is over on the floor, so who knows. But you know, if I'm being honest, the beds that they really want are this one and this one. So this is Berkeley. Berkeley we've had since 2017 and he has a lot of uh, solid brown on him, not as much um, of the, the striping across his nose. So, and he's naughty. Aren't you? You're naughty. Yeah, a good boy. So to give you a little bit of a comparison, I'll show them side by side. So you can see Benny's gonna get comfortable in the flat one. So that's the big flat one that we just keep out in our living room. This one here is the one with sides. It's a little bit smaller. I got it at Target, super cheap, probably 15 bucks. Um, just something super comfortable. And then this is the one that is sort of the knockoff version of a cozy cave, and I'll link this one um, as well. It is a less expensive version. Um, it's got kind of a nice soft outside inside, but you can see that they are starting to destroy it because that's my destroyer right there, my little buddy. So hopefully that helps you decide which dog bed you need. I'm gonna get these two outside where they can wrestle away from all of my furniture. Thanks for watching, have a great day.